Before we move on to talk about some of the grouping tools that are inside of Fireworks, I wanted to give you a practical example of using just some of the simple tools that we've looked at so far. Many websites have a photo collage as part of their banner area, or maybe as part of their footer area. And what I want to do is I want to create a photo collage of the three images that I have here. So this is what I'm going to go ahead and do to create that collage. First thing I'm going to go ahead and do is move this over to the edge of my um, of my canvas area. And actually I can overlap it just a little bit. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and move this one in there. And I'm going to move this one in here. And oftentimes what you're going to want is you're going to want a little bit of white space to separate each one of those items. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all three of my graphics and I'm going to go to modify and I'm going to use my align tools to make sure that these are centered horizontally so the center of the image lines up and then I'm going to go ahead and go to align and I'm going to say distribute widths here and what that's going to do is it's going to give me an equal amount of space in between each one of those images now I may want a little less space there so I'm going to go ahead and bump that one on over and bump this over as well and then just to be sure that the spacing is even I'm going to select those images again and again go to modify align and select distribute widths so now that space is the same there but this didn't solve the problem that the images are actually different heights so this still isn't going to work for me but these are bitmap images so what I can do is I can come over here to my bitmap selection tool and I'm going to go ahead and just drag out a selection box and you're going to see I started out here in my canvas area and I ended out here outside of my canvas area let's go ahead and do that one more time select the bitmap tool and I start over here and I'm just going to go ahead and drag myself out a box now you're going to notice that if you look in the lower left hand corner below where it says marquee tool it's going to tell you the width and the height of the selection box that you're creating. Now in this case the width doesn't matter because I've set my canvas for being the width that I want the collage to be. But 111 uh, pixels high probably isn't a very memorable value. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to move this up a little bit until I can see that this is exactly 100 pixels um, high. And there we go. And now when I release that marquee selection box snapped to the left and right edges. I have one more thing that I need to go ahead and do. I'm going to go to edit and cut and that cut that area out of there. Now I'm going to go to edit and paste. And let's see how that worked. I'll select paste and I still didn't get what I was looking for there. What I did get is I got this graphic here and that was the last thing that was in my clipboard. So that isn't going to work for me there. I'm just going to go ahead and drag that up. And now they're nicely aligned again. I'm going to again go ahead and select my bitmap tool. And I'm going to drag out my shape. I'm going to again make sure, actually I'm going to make sure this time it's 110 pixels. And this time what I want to do is I want to crop this document down so just what is inside of that marquee is what's available in the image. So I'm going to go to the edit menu instead of selecting cut I'm going to say crop document and you see when I do that it cropped this down so that it's only showing me the area that was inside of the marquee. I could now group this together and do whatever I want but you can see how easy it is just using a few of those alignment tools and selection tools to create a banner marquee. Or a, or a photo collage of some kind. And again, in the next video, we're going to go ahead and look at the uh, grouping and arrangement tools.